Hi everyone, um, a thorny problem this one. What to do uh, if you've got a leak at the back of your toilet pan? Uh, this is quite a, a regular one, this one. I'll just show you mine. Um, this is a fairly new installation, and you can see the joint on the back of the pan there. Um, and quite often you get a leak here. You can get a leak on the back of this, this joint. Um, now if you've got a closed couple pan, flush it and just check it's not coming from the top here because if it is there and coming from that joint up there then all you've got to do is turn the water off unbolt the system unscrew it from the back of the wall and lift it away and when you lift it away you'll find that there's a a round bungee in there uh, and literally just renew that bungee with a new one uh, from your plumber's merchants and put it back and it should do the job for you but quite often yeah, this isn't the case um, Quite often what it is, is, is this multi-quick joint, they call them. This joint here that I showed you. Um, now this one's a specific type of mine, it's one of the long flexible ones. But quite often, this is the one that most people have. Um, and there's your soil pipe. I mean, I've cut this one off um, some time ago. There would be your soil pipe, and this would be the multi-quick joint that's pumped into it. Normally it doesn't leak out of here. Um, normally it leaks around this rubber here. Now, obviously, the ultimate answer is to take the toilet pan right out uh, and renew this um, whole multi wick joint, push a new one in and put it back. But obviously that is quite a lengthy job uh, and quite a, so if you're not ready for it, it's a bit of a horrible job to do. Um, so trying to find a way around that. Quite often it's this rubber that's gone. So if it, even if you just got you by for a while, um, this is the stuff. Um, good old plumbers mate, um, just get a good wedge of that and push this back, this rubber, with a screwdriver. Say so that's in the joint like that with your pan going in it. Just pull the rubber back and force the plumbers mate in all the way round. Mainly round the bottom of the joint because that's where most pressure will be. But see if you can force it round all the way. Not too much because you don't want it to go, it'll only get washed away if it goes right inside the joint and might block up your drain. So just, just a little bit uh, and get it right around the joint and quite often um, that does do the job for you. Um, even if it is a bit only temporary uh, until such time it gets bad again and you may want to renew it. Um, it's a good good let out. Um, another problem, you know, if you get a leak behind a, a toilet, um, if you've got a type of system like this on this drawing, um, where you've got a system and a flush pipe, um, quite often you either get one that's got a rubber that goes over, which is one of these, uh, it's called a flush cone, now that's quite old fashioned these days, uh, not a lot of pans have got lips that have rubbers going over, and these can leak quite often, um, so just check, put your hand underneath it, flush it, if it leaks from the rubber cone, this is a simple job because you just undo the nut at the top of the system pipe there and pull the rubber back and pull the pipe off and stick a new one of these rubber cones on, okay, and just flip it back over the lip, tighten it back up. Usually if it's a plastic pipe, they're only done up by hand. Okay, I haven't put the nut there, but there's a nut there. Uh, and so that's quite a simple job and that's just called renewing a flush cone. But more normally, if you have got um, a flush pipe on this drawer here, you can see, um, you, you'll have what's called a pan as an insert so in that case you have one of these which is called a plastic insert uh, and that pushes into the pan and onto the pipe so what you do take the pipe off again take it off take the flush cone off the insert knock it off because it will be gone um, push this new one on into the pipe okay before you actually insert it put the pipe back in and push it back into the joint Okay, make sure it's nice and tight back, tight back to the lip of the pan. Okay, we've got a flush cone, uh, and you're fine once you've done it up. Um, that will cure the problem for you. So uh, there's a few um, common things to do with leaks at the back of the toilet. Um, if you've got any other types of leaks you're not sure of, you can always uh, let me know, and I'll see if I can sort anything out for you. Uh, do do just inquire. I'll, I'll answer any questions you've got for me on leaks and stuff like that. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, Derek and 33 for all my videos. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.